Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Theater Guy Don here. Man, it has been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I have fully finished my theater room. Um, it's now Dolby Atmos. I've added some clip speakers in the ceiling. I've added some LED lighting. And I've kind of just turned this room into what I've envisioned, um, which is just a room where I can hang out with my friends and family and watch movies and sports and just be really comfortable. Um, I'm so happy with this room. I just kind of want to share it with everyone. Um, it's really just kind of been like a dream of mine to, to make a theater room like this. Um, and you know, this room is pretty much on a budget, um, which I'm proud of, but I'm super proud of what it's become and what it is. It fits my needs specifically, and maybe someone else will get some ideas from this video. Um, right now, you guys are looking at my screen, which is a 150 inch um, 16 by nine ratio screen, um, which is a DIY screen, which myself and my brother made. Um, we did use uh, Crow 1176's hybrid paint to paint the screen. Um, which I couldn't be happier with. Um, I mean, I would highly recommend that. If anybody's looking for a screen paint, check out Crow 1176. He has a great um, variety of paints specific to your needs. Um, the other thing that I've done in this room is upgraded to a 4K projector. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm just kind of letting you guys get some images while I talk out loud here. Um, but I'll show you what I got. Um, and you know, but these images are incredible. I, I know I used to have a Epson 2045. Um, I was pretty skeptical about, um, switching just because I really liked my Epson 2045. I knew there was better products out there, but I didn't really want to spend that much more money. Um, I think I spent like maybe 1300 bucks on this new projector that I purchased. And I literally just said, hey, Amazon, if I don't like this, can I return it without a restocking fee? And they gave me like a seven day grace period. And so I put it in and I turned it on. And the thing I noticed right away were the black levels and the sharpness um, of the projector. So I guess I'll go ahead and tell you, I got the Optima UHD 50 which was perfect for me because my throw ratio um, to get into a 150 inch screen, I think my projector is like 14 feet back from the screen. This room is a, uh, it's about 22 feet deep, but I think it's about 13 feet wide. Um, so this projector is perfect for my space. Um, and I really just can't say enough about it. I'm so happy with it. I hope these images come out as clear on my phone uh, this is only an iPhone 8, so, you know, I'm hoping that it comes out as clear on the phone as it does in in person here. Um, it is daytime, but I do have um, all the lights off right now. Um, and, yeah, so I guess uh, I'll kind of turn the lights on a little bit and just kind of show you guys what I've done to really make this my own space, which is specific to my needs and, you know, what I like and uh, I'll go from there. So Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. So the first thing I've done was added um, smart lighting into this theater, which is really nice because when I'm sitting in my chair and I don't feel like getting up or, you know, I'm coming into the room from outside of the theater and I want to turn it on from downstairs, I can just have everything up here ready to go. So I'll be downstairs and I'll just say the wake na name and I'll say, turn on upstairs and boom, projector, receiver, lights, fan, you know, all the different smart devices that I have in this room will turn on. So another thing is, is, you know, I actually have a Harmony um, Elite remote. I don't remember exactly which one it is. I never use it. I mean, I can literally say, Alexa, pause and she'll pause it and it doesn't matter which app I'm on it literally I mean I haven't found an app that it doesn't work on Alexa play 
um, and that's been really cool. So the I guess the other things that I've done to the room since you guys have seen it last are the Dolby Atmos speakers that I put in the ceiling. Um, man, what an impressive thing. I mean, these clip speakers were not very expensive. I, I mean, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. But I wanna say they're probably about maybe 350 bucks for the pair or something like that. I, I don't remember, but it just adds a whole different dimension. So if anybody's out there and they're thinking about spending the money, um, I definitely recommend it. I really feel like you should do it. I Every time I have friends or family that are here in the theater and they're watching a movie, they always comment on how great the sound is and um, it's because it's true. And the Dolby Atmos aspect of it and having that has really been great. So I highly recommend that. Um, Alexa, turn the lights to 40%. Okay. Turn the lights to 40%. Okay. So here's my room and these lights that I have in here are really bright. I never put it past like 50% max. Um, just because they're really bright. I think you guys can see that it's kind of got pretty bright, but the Optima UHD 50 doesn't drown out that much with the lights on this high. I mean, yeah, do you lose a little color? Absolutely. Um, would I be watching a movie like this? Most likely not. Um, but you can definitely watch sports or just a regular like sitcom or TV show with it like this. Um, and yeah. So I'm gonna walk around the room with you guys and just show you kind of my setup that I got here. Um, and we'll go from there. So we'll start in the hallway because I gotta represent for my favorite show of all time. Oh gosh, the light's not on. Let me turn that on for you guys so you can see. Game of Thrones, House Targaryen, Lannister, Stark coming into the theater room. There you guys can see the LED lights behind my screen. Um, coming in here into my space. Got a few posters on the wall, obviously Star Wars and Batman. And then here's kind of my space, guys. Like I said, it's probably 23 feet deep, something like that, 13 feet wide, something like that. Um, I have my chair on the right there, that light brown chair. And then you got power recliners there on the left. And in the back row, you also have two power recliners um, with the riser that we built, which you guys have seen in past videos. Um, and then there's the Optima UHD 50, which is amazing. You can see my Dolby Atmos speakers as well up top. Um, I'm running a 5.1.2. Um, and then here I have a little table. Um, and there's where, you know, if we're having food or watching a football or baseball game or something, you'll, uh, you know, we'll put the food up there. So, yeah, this is this is kind of my setup. I'm not going to go too in-depth about everything because I have most of the rest of the stuff on my videos. Um, another thing I had to kind of think outside the box with was where I put my receiver, my Xbox. Um, because the room isn't that big, but I wanted to utilize as much of the room space as I could. So it's kind of worked out perfectly. But that's about it, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope that I've been able to help somebody out with some sort of idea. Um, and I'll turn the lights off one more time so you guys can get an idea. And uh, we'll end the video in a few minutes. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. So here we go with the, the view, guys. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, just hit me up, email me, and I'll do the best I can to get back to you. And I hope everybody has a great day, and I will uh, talk to you guys later.